Hello, this is CG Celestial and welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you four incredible Blender add-ons that will make your life so much easier and prevent so much hassle and save you a lot of time in the future. So continue watching on. I'm going to be saving all these little tips from worst do best. I mean, there isn't really a worst, but you get what I'm saying. All right, so let's get into it. First up is adding an, an image as a plane. So you might notice that when you ever want to add an image on an object, for example, take that you have a simple plane right over here, right? So if you want to add an, uh, add an image to it, you don't want to just go over to shading tab, Press new, add in an image texture, it gets so annoying and frustrating at times. And you have to keep looking for the file as well. So here is a super simple thing that will save so much time as well. So just go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and search for images as planes. Make sure it's enabled. Now go to file, go to import, and add in an image as a plane. So I'll just delete that. And now after doing this, you can actually select like literally any object that you ever want. So let's take this for example. Uh, I just found this image on the internet. I was looking for inspiration. So if you happen to be watching this video, this um, image is your credit. Um, yeah. So now as you can see, it's easily added the image as a plane and it looks really great. And the best part is when you do this, you don't have to worry. So when so just adding in an image and dragging and dropping it is simple. But when you render it, it won't show up. To check if uh, some an object will be there when you're rendering, you can actually just hide overlays and stuff. So that is the first really cool simple add-on. Second is adding in a tree. So you might wonder making a tree. Oh my god, it's going to be so difficult. It's going to take so much time. So annoying. But here's something that will save you an incredible amount of time. So just go to edit, preferences, go to add-ons and search for tree. Now um, for add curve, make sure this is enabled add curve sapling tree gen. Excellent. So now what you can do is something amazing. For shift A, add in a curve and add in a sapling tree gen. Perfect. So as you can see, it has this tree. But you might be wondering, I don't want just this tree. That, that what, what if I want some other kind of tree? So I'm going to take you around this whole thing going on over here. So to change the kind of tree, you just change the load preset to whatever you want. So you can change it. Quaking aspen, willow, birch, small pine. and Basically, any of this. It's so cool. And now you might be wondering, what if, what about leaves? What about the amount of, uh, amount of branches and everything? So you, there's actually a shape you can actually like control over here. So you can actually just drag around here and play with the whole shape of the object, add custom shapes and everything. And it's so cool, like seriously. So doing this. You can actually change the branch distribution as well, like this or like this. It's so cool. You can change the number of branch rings as well. It's insane. And if you don't like the particular tree, you can actually just keep changing seeds over here. It's such an amazing thing. Now, you can, there's also scale for how tall you want it, scale variation and everything. Now for leaves, go to geometry, add leaves. And you can do show leaves. And now as you can see, it has the leaves that are there. You can change the number of leaves and everything. It's actually really amazing. Leaf rotation. You can change this to branch radius and branch splitting. And all of this is actually so cool. And you can actually, the, another really cool thing is you don't, um, when you're moving the tree around, you don't want to just select this. So when you actually select the tree and you move the tree, it's actually automatically parented the leaves to the tree. So that means that whenever you move the whole um, normal tree, it'll move the base with it. Whereas if you just move the leaves, it'll like just, um, it won't move the tree. 
So that's another really cool add-on. Now the next one is a landscape. So if you want to make really complicated landscapes, like volcanoes on mountains and everything, you just don't want to model it on your own. So this is not going to come with the textures. You can add textures and stuff, but it saves so much time and is incredibly useful. So you go to add-ons and search for landscape. Add mesh, A and T landscape. Make sure it's enabled. Now for shift A, you can add in a mesh and it'll have landscape somewhere. So you can just kind of scroll down and search for it. Mine's right over here. And you have a landscape. So the basic one is right over here. Just this. Perfect. And you have all of this you can do. So basically what's over here is this little circle is for subdivision or sorry, shade smooth. You have a triangulate option to add more geometry or not add more geometry. It's super cool. I actually like how it looks with triangles. It looks kind of futuristic. Yeah, so you can have this. You can have subdivisions changed as well on particular axes. You can change mesh size and all of this. It's seriously so cool. Change the offset of all of this and it's actually amazing how you can control all of this and do everything with it now you might be wondering how do i change the type so you have abstract going on right over here actually looks pretty cool like some kind of science um, sci-fi ball or something you have noise you have canyons you have another canyon you have cauliflower hills you have a cliff. You have seriously amazing things. You even have Mesa and like, you have slick rock, you have rock. So this is actually amazing. So you can actually add in rocks. So it's actually like a sub um, add on as well in this. You can have a ridged landscape. You can also have yin yan. Um, I think it's a Chinese thing for masculine and feminine and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. You can also have yin yan, which is like this really cool thing of feminine and masculine and has like this black dot and white circle and everything. You can actually research about it. It's pretty cool. You have Voronui Hills, all of this insane stuff. You also have techno cell, which is also pretty cool for if you're making like a cyberpunk uh, style thing going on. This is absolutely insane as well. It's some kind of like factory thing going on. So yeah, you probably get the point by now. This is what it's like. Yeah, so now for the last add-on, which is going to be something that's actually going to blow your mind, all right? So this is Blender Kit. So this is gonna actually going to save so much time. This is the best one. All right, so just go back into Edit Preferences and search for Blender Kit Online Asset Library. Make sure this is enabled. Now what will happen is when you're in your scene, you can just press N and you'll probably have this blender kit thing going on right over here. You might wonder what on earth is this? What, what's happening? So now you'll actually have a search button, upload button, material, model, brush, and it should probably appear over here as well. So if not, then you can just try and click search and stuff. So over here, you can switch between models, brushes, and materials. Now I'll tell you what it is. For example, models, I'll just search for car, for example. So this is absolutely insane. So you have so many high poly models already made, which you can download. So some of them are for free, some of them are not for free, but it's absolutely insane and it's so useful. So for materials as well, if you wanna do cool materials, let's say lava, for example, and it'll just search, you have all of these going on and it's so cool, like seriously. It'll actually save so much time as well that it's not funny. Um, you'll have an ice as well and everything. So like, seriously, you get so many things that you can do with this. Oh, look, pink icing. That reminds me of Blender Guru's Donut. Um, all right, so yeah, back to the point. You have all of this models, materials. Oh my God, there's actually a Nintendo Switch right over here. I didn't even notice that. You can search for bin as well if you want. Basically anything, and you can download all of this for free. 
So some of you might be wondering, like, what's the point of even doing Blender if you can actually just get all this for free? So if you're making, like, a really complicated scene, like a really big city or, like, some complicated living room and you just want to save time or the particular objects that you're focusing on improving your skills on, then you can use Blender Kit to save you time. For example, making a city. So your skill, you'd say, would be modeling, which is really, really true. But... If you want to save time and just small objects, if you're making a really big, really cool scene or something, then you can actually easily use these models. For example, if you want a bin in the background, you can add a bin, simply. So this is actually the last item and it's super, super duper helpful. Now I also have an announcement and something else that I also want to tell you. So just watch on to find out. Number one, we just passed 400 subscribers. So according to my, I don't know, my mind or my time or something, I actually managed to pass 400 subscribers, I think around three hours ago. Um, Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here on this journey with me uh, to like a land of Blender tutorials, I guess. Um, Second thing is, that, so remember the really big, amazing Lotus of Egypt tutorial series I did? So there's actually going to be a bonus part of that. So in that, as someone asked for in my comments, I'm going to be adding smoke coming out of the back of the car, maybe around, and maybe adding some grunge texture on the ground and stuff. So it's actually going to be pretty sick. So stay tuned, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.